I know. I love Griffin this. probably wants to come out. Hi, guys. This is Lauren Piston. Um, we are live, Natalie. <laughs> so far, we're the only ones watching, so it doesn't matter. Hey! This is where you can say all the stuff. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. Yeah. You could say all yeah. the cuss words right now. Well, not that I don't think anybody that's a creative groomer cares. Yeah, until someone's like, <laughs> oh. All right. I don't know where to put this. Let's see. You had it all boomed. Nice, Ron. How's that look? That looks good. Why don't you figure out? Do you do you? Because I um, let's try to. What if we? <laughs> Everybody's just watching us figure out the camera. You got it. I don't know. Here we can also bring this closer. It's not like it's yeah. plugged into anything. No. We're just figuring out the camera here. Axis, oh, you're fine, buddy. I know. Okay, Good boy. Here. Let's try. There we go. Ooh. There you go. Well, I have to have room to be able to work, but okay. <laughs> I mean, we can. We I can, can move yeah, it backwards. Move it. All right. We're good. And then now you have to find my live video on here so you can watch it. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Oh, let's turn the volume down on me. Oh, well, that's right. uncomfortable and weird. <laughs> there. Okay, now you can read. Okay. All right. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that works. Look at me. Okay, guys, so... That's why I'm the smart one. We're going to start off. Okay. So I had to change the design because our original doodle had... Uh, he had some issues with his skin, so he couldn't come in. Remember, safety is always first with the animals. Um, so I decided to do something a little more simple than my usual just because I want you guys to be able to mimic and do these things at home and this is a good starter design. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing some butterflies and rainbow flowers. Um, the butterflies we're going to outline first in black. I've already drawn them on with Sharpie. Uh, and then we're going to be using sponges and stencils to show you guys how to do really cool rainbow patterns fast on dogs so you can make some bread and butter. So I'm going to start outlining and this is, I want to introduce Natalie. Hi. She is the manager at the Painted Pooch as well as a creative groomer as well. Beginning creative groomer. I mean, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Hi, so when you're going to do an outline design, now this guy is, he's a nervous boy, so he's a little wiggly, so I'm going to try to go so the design I'm doing, the outline is, if the outline's a little wiggly, it should be fine because we're gonna be doing kind of a splattery butterfly look. Isn't it? I just realized how long it's been since I've tied a dog, because I've just been singing. So right now I'm just kind of outlining and I know I'm on the opposite side of what you guys can see. Stay still, buddy. But I'll be coming around. So I'm taking a, a lined pencil and I'm stretching the skin and just trying to get the black in there nicely. Um, I can also grab the phone. Why don't you? Yeah, can you grab phone and keep him settled? So this is Roxas and he's very shaky, but he's a good boy. He does competition, but. So I'm using an angle brush. You can get these at like Michael's. For pretty cheap. Opaz also makes a really wonderful set that you can get. Um, I like to use my Opaz for my beautiful dye, like a detail work that's like, because they're very nice, and then I get the cheaper ones for like dud work, like bleach, because that destroys your brushes. So these are very simple designs, because like I said, the these are just the premise. They don't take over. The, we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff with Stencils you can buy at Michael's. So the Sharpie will come off when you wash. And 
I don't know, some of you guys are my friends on Facebook, but I got a really stupid standard poodle puppy. <laughs> <laughs> she is an idiot. She'll be better when she's older. But she's white, so I'll be able to be doing a lot more teaching in the future with some way cool stuff. And I'm excited that I'm going to be working with Alyssa Kasiba on some stuff. So that will be fun. And you guys will be able to learn everything from beginning to advanced with creative grooming. And we'll be throwing out ideas and new things for you guys to grab. This is something I just want to show because this is going to be what we're going to be doing. Not this part, but the one with the stencils. You can do that really fast on a client dog and make some quick cash. So we'll go into that, but that's something where you can charge a quick 60 bucks and you can have it done really quick because you don't have to think. You just have to dab. Just stencil away. Stencil away. This, These are just freehand, which is why they're kind of jank, janky. It's important to make noises when you do this. It does not, the, the dye doesn't come on as good. We're at my grooming salon and it's busy as usual, which is a good thing. So barking, cussing, vulgarities. Cause my manager does her job so well and keeps everybody's mouth clean. My mouth isn't clean, so I can't keep anybody else's mouth clean. That's very true. <laughs> you guys don't want to see what she writes on her manager board. <laughs> If you ever want to know what my favorite flavor of ice cream popsicle, popsicle is. <laughs> yeah, you jerk. That's why you promoted me. I know. I'll, if you guys know me well, you know that I surround myself with my mainly gingers. So I kind of ask for it. And feel free to ask questions during the live. Um, I have my eye on the comment section to be able to... Roxas, what are you looking at? Sir? Sir, <laughs> there's somebody outside who's, who's looking in, so. I know, it's someone that knows me, too. I'm like, I don't have time to talk. It's Morticia's mom. Oh, I love Morticia. All right. I'm going to need a coffee order. If any of you guys on here want to buy us coffee, <laughs> we're at the Painted Pooch and Burien at 641 <laughs> Southwest 153rd Street, Burien, Washington, 98166. Not trying to laugh over you. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I don't think anybody's actually going to buy us coffee. I know this is a Tuesday, so not a lot of people are going to be able to watch this live, but we do save all of our lessons. I'm working on a course for you guys to do some really cool hands-on stuff with model dogs where me and Alyssa can show you how to do some more stuff. I think the best way to learn is to do as you're learning because you can watch this all day, but when it comes down to it. Sorry, I'm trying to just get the best angle on this. You're fine. So. These lines, I'm not worried about perfection because if I showed you the, I think if you go back to the comments on the event, there's a butterfly that I found that's kind of a splattery water print uh, butterfly. So that's kind of what I'm basing it on. So I just want to get my concept in there so I can go over it. Will you quit looking at things, sir? We need like, you know, we should have the shade over there. <laughs> But then that goes all over natural light, sir. Sir. Thank you. Good and boy, it, we need a block for this, though, because he's like, hey, what's going on back there? They're my friends. Where's I've my mom? Seen. I've never met them, Where's but my they're mom, my friends. My mom, my mom. His mom is washing my nasty, disgusting poodle right now. Because she's gross and she's a jerk. I would like to say that I love her completely, but that would be a lie. I do love her, but she is just a bit much, isn't she, Natalie? She's a puppy. She is, but she's she's spoiled already. I'm just giving her shit. I do love her. Quit looking at things. <laughs> I know, he's like so distracted, I really think the screen might be better over there. I like that it's like in and down, face the wall, look the wall, don't get 
Just so you know that you are being recorded. I think legally I have to tell you that. Rock, that you're being recorded. Also need to get the little antenna. I mean, I can get that later. Did you just burp? Yeah, yeah. You burped. Mm. Will you stop? We're going to do this in session. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this rinsed off, sign off, prep for color, sign back in. So we will label this one outline because there's no reason for you guys to sit around and listen to Natalie talk while we rinse this dog. And my voice is beautiful. Quit looking at Out of the two of us, I'm definitely the better singer. Oh yeah, that's why you're employed to do it. You have a gig this weekend in Colorado, so get ready to go up there. Man. Hey, I can see my brother-in-law at least. I don't know if you guys know this about Colorado, but I learned this the last time. It, when singing, you get altitude sickness very easily, and it sucks. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, cool. Oh, my God. Screen needs it. I think that they just may need to see our self-wash tubs. I don't really care. So we are in the stage of remodel, which is a never-ending remodel. I like to think of it like Money Pit from Tom Hanks. It's just never going to freaking happen. But we're getting towards the end, but we have a lot of clutter. Like, for some random reason, there's boobies over there. <laughs> Mannequin boobie. <laughs> And some kennels that we're no longer using. Oh, wait, I actually need to... Yeah, anybody want to buy them? They're dirt cheap. Okay, so we're just going to make sure. Like I said, if I was doing a really strong outline piece, I would not spend... I'd spend a lot more time making sure that was perfect. All right, let's move to the next side. Okay. Butterflies. Butterfly in the sky. So, like I said, we're doing simple designs today because I want to show some stuff that you guys could do at home. I suggest starting small. Yeah, look, you got Jessica. Come show the crowd my idiot. I was talking about my idiot, and then Jessica is Roxas's mom, so he's going to be super excited. Started. Yeah. Say hi. Look, here's my idiot. The idiot. Wait, go over. I feel weird. Go over. <laughs> come towards me. There she is. Look at her. All right, Roxas, you can't. Mom's not going to save you. Hi, bye. Hey, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving her a heart, by the way. Oh, yeah, she's, she needs to work on her her discipline, for sure. Are we going to get on the other side, or are we going to still turn them around? What are we doing? Turn them uh, around? Let's turn them around. That's just easier if you're right there with the camera, I think. Okay. Roxas, I have you by the balls. <laughs> She says, I sure do. Is Griffin still back there? That'll keep her occupied. Just sacrificing Griffin. It wasn't Griffin. To the poodle or to the puppy. Well, no, I'm saying Griffin, is he back there? Because she'll bark. She's alone, so she's. That, my friends, is the joy of puppy sound. That's why I no longer have a puppy. I know. Well, I will no longer have a puppy in a couple of weeks. So. <laughs> and then when I she move, starts, I might. She starts her training classes soon. And then when I move, I might get another puppy, though. Puppy puppies. <laughs> <laughs> it's your niece. You have to love her. Why is this all over? Oh, God, I'm getting it all over my hands. Okay, hold on one second. I need to switch brushes. It's like I grabbed gloves or something. I don't use gloves. They get in my way. If you're going to be a creative groomer, you just need to own that your hands are going to be dirty. I'm not. I just, I feel like gloves make more of a mess than they do good. Okay. Oh my God. I'm going to have rainbow hands. How <laughs> ugly. <laughs> so, yeah. Getting that line in. That's why you are good. It is well, true. now Jessica has the puppy again. <laughs> so, yeah. One day we'll be open seven days a week here. And at that point, we will need more groomers. 
So if you guys are interested in employment in the place where everybody swears and tells bad penis jokes, you just let us know. Because they'll be fired immediately. Yep. <laughs> we tolerate no sailor mouths here. Roxas. She's like, that's my mom. She starts her puppy classes next Sunday. Woo. Good luck. So this is kind of like repetitive and boring. So but it looks so nice. It does look nice. It's gonna look really cool. So we're gonna be doing like this really fun, like kind of splatter design on this kid. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do multicolor sponge prints on a stencil. Where you're like, I don't have to be able to draw. I just have to be able to stick things on. It's going to be me. It's going to be me. That's on Natalie. Yeah, but you're a very talented hand stripper and cat groomer. This is true. You can't have everything. Or can I? If you're greedy. Maybe coat carving is what I need to take up. Maybe that's what I'm good at. I mean, I'm not bad at coat carving. I'm not going to lie. I like painting stuff more. Like... I still want to do a really detailed David Bowie on somebody's dog back. I would offer mine, but he's a Leon Burger. I'm not doing that. That's it. She's not leaving you forever, Roxas. Oh, oh. Oh, Mom. Oh. Getting in her car. Meltdown approaching. Mom's getting in her car. Oh, shh. You're fine. He's like, I need a break. So, like I said, we're going to get these outlines on, and then we're going to go rinse this kid and take a 15 to 20 minute break, and then we're going to do the, the big work. Will you stop it? The fun colors. <laughs> so, yeah, you just kind of want to be patient when you're doing lines and do like a blotting kind of thing. Roxas, she's coming back. You're fine, baby. <laughs> I believe this is Roxas. Well, Roxas, Jessica's done some creative on him. Shampoos and stuff, yeah. Well, no, she did uh, a long time ago before you knew Jessica. She did wings. Oh, that's fun. Stop, sir. For those of you who just joined, my giant doodle that was supposed to be on this was... Uh, had some skin issues, so we had to change. But he's fun because he's so big. You can just kind of... It gets a little harder when you're working with these little kids. Maxis, she's going to come back, dude. I need coffee. Are you going to go beg for coffee again? I don't beg for shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh Roxas he's just he's like my mom got in her car and left he's having a meltdown my life is forever going to be Lauren Hooden Pile or Lauren Piston depending on who you are messing with my skin I heard a like my friend's three year old say hood and pile, and it was the cutest thing I think I ever heard. It was like, Why you be? I was like, Oh, that's exactly it. That's my last name. That's how you eat. Oh, you are gonna make this really difficult. Stop, sir. Is there anywhere else I can grab? Because I'm just holding onto his maybe his chest. Like I said, guys, this is going to be kind of blurry, but that's what I wanted because he is... I almost have my finger in his butthole. <laughs> it's inappropriate for Facebook. <laughs> what happens on Opaz stays on Opaz. <laughs> Stop it. So he's definitely like... That's the other reason for the break. 
Give your dogs breaks, especially when they get to this point. Raxus? Child. We're almost done, baby boy. <laughs> so yeah, we're just making sure that the line is nice on there. And the Sharpie does come off in the bath. This is he may not have been the best section to put the set. <laughs> we have all the distraction over here. Uh uh, sir. But the best lighting. Yep. All right. So, one more butterfly to do. You want to put your finger in his butthole? You have sweaty balls, sir. I don't. <laughs> it is very sweaty balls. Just have my hand on them. We are, I'm sorry, I'm just looking yeah. at the at the comments right now. We're in Washington. I know, they're not pulling up on here. What? That's weird. Yeah. See? Oh. Well, what is, that's stupid. Um, sorry, we're trying to... What did you just do? I don't know. You should be able to see the comments on here. Swipe left for comments, to reveal comments and reactions. And then I swipe left, and I don't. Oh. Unless it's like a... No? Sorry, we're trying to troubleshoot. I really hate technology. It is just a pain in my arsehole. La la la. Now playing. Be -dee 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 -dee. Nice face. Yeah, I don't have any makeup on and I'm dirty. I probably have chicken poop on me. Go there. Uh, but we are in Washington, a little south of Seattle, like 20 minutes south. Um, our shop is called The Painted Pooch. Uh, we specialize in creative and cats and hand stripping and poodles. and Basically, we have a groomer who kind of does a little bit of everything. Why don't you answer questions? Because they don't need to see me do this one butterfly. Look at the question. I think that's the only other question that we've got. Butterfly. So while I hold this here, I'm going to try and troubleshoot why I can't see comments. I feel like <laughs> in the history of all my tutorials, there's always a freaking issue. Like last time I couldn't get the live screen to go on Facebook. So I could, I had to just show, here's what I'm doing. And then there was that time that Lakota filmed it upside down. Oh, I remember that one. Will you stop? You are such a wiggle worm. You are such a wiggle worm. And you mean me. I don't want to sit still. This is bullshit. Okay. So like I said, kind of a simple design today because I wanted to show you guys like how to kind of do this stuff. So he's very wiggly because mom went to get lunch and he saw her. And we're right in front of my salon's window. I'm gonna order coffee while we wash his kadaya. So when you wash the dye, you wanna make sure that you rinse with cold. And then I usually give them a little hot bath after that because you know, they're cold. Does it run while you're rinsing? That would be why I'm telling you guys to do cold. So you wanna do cold first. Get that and just rinse one area at a time. You may have a little bit of blur over, but it shouldn't be too bad. And Roxas is a Miami done in a five. Because since we're going to be doing some lime work and stuff, I wanted enough hair to play with, but not too much that I couldn't get things done simple. So even if dogs are shaved down, so you can still apply creative grooming to your grooms. Yes. 
If you're doing really heavy detail, you can do a seven. And then I've done sevens on dogs and drawn out stuff really detailed. And what's cool is six weeks later, that design is still there and I can just touch it up. Because as you can see, when I'm blotting, I'm kind of fighting with the hair a little bit. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're gonna get to run around in just a second, sir. Don't forget the dots. You drew them. You gotta fill them in. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> well, this is me solidifying I'm your boss. I'm your manager, though. It's literally my job to tell you what to do. Not really. <laughs> I think it's more, I think you got that. You need to go back into like the manager guidebook. And it's like, owner of salon tells manager what to do. <laughs> No. I do not need you to manage me. If you would like to take on the job of manage me, please go ahead. Absolutely not. I didn't think so. I can barely manage my own life. <laughs> Somewhere my husband's like, please manage her. <laughs> Stop her from doing more with her life than she needs. <laughs> no more animals. No more dogs or cats. No more. Yeah, we can't say it. No more anything. <laughs> All right. Ta-da! So, go ahead and go around the animal. Let's we'll see. So, we've got our outline work done. Do -do -do. Just some, oh. <laughs> I'm a professional now. <laughs> Very smooth. All right. So, we got this done. So, we're going to rinse it in cold. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse one area at a time and just kind of really go in there um, and get this out. And then we're going to get them dry. Uh, what are we using for paint? Uh, we are using the Opal Super Black. There is nothing better. So the outline is in and then we are going to be, so Natalie can kind of give you a what's to come so you want to show on the wall our stencils we're going to be using give me one second did we use sharpie first and then color yes sharpie first and the sharpie will wash out in the bath yes i like these big thick uh hold on <laughs> <laughs> big thick markers and then i'll just grab one of these so what i have going on over here is i have stencils ready to go with tape and I'm going to be applying these with a rainbow sponge technique. And this is something that you can get at Michael's, Home Depot, anywhere. Amazon. And you can use this for quick creative and you can make a good 40 to 80 bucks just adding this stuff on. So we'll be doing that. Any more questions? That's it, that's all that I saw. Okay guys, so give us like, 15 to 20 minutes to get rinsed off. Um, ladies of Opaz, if you can, we can label this one as outline process. And we will go into stage two. I'll see you guys in 15 to 20 minutes. Say bye, Natalie. Bye. <laughs> see, how do I start?